Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sound of Sagittarius, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. Just have to go check that out. Go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Sagittarius... Ooh, tired. <laughs> um, let's say some prayers for yourself before we get into your reading. We have number 38 with the goddess Kali, number 22 with the goddess Quan Yin. Alright, so I'll put Kali's mantra in the comments below. And with Quan Yin here, I'm going to read the prayer aloud. Number 22. Alright, Sagittarius. I am divinely blessed. My heart is so full of blessing and overflows through my entire being and energy field. I receive blessings so easily. My joy inspires others to be open to blessings too. The princess of the autumn harvest, beloved Kuan Yin, knows my worthy heart and bestows abundant gifts to me now. All right, Sagittarius, so that is the prayers. Now let us see what spirit has in store for yourself. We have tarot cards here. The tarot cards. These are big tarot cards. So what do you have for Sagittarius? We have the Six of Cups, Sagittarius, as your card wanting to fall out. So let's pull a couple more cards before we start talking. But I do feel like you are going to be receiving here. We have the moon above the bird there, the, with the waves, of water, and everything. I feel like you're, I feel like you're receiving. Six of Cups. We did just have the Sagittarius full moon. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that page of cups. It looks like there's, you have like, you have like a vibe to you where it feels like there's a sense of achievement, accomplishment, and it, it just, I think you're aware of you manifesting and receiving here. So we have the seven of pentacles. Sagittarius, look at that. There's going to be pentacles falling out of the sky. All right, I feel like that's something you've worked for. That's something you've manifested here with the Knight of Pentacles. There's opportunities here being presented to you, Sagittarius. And we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. We have all these pentacles surrounding you, Sagittarius. All these coins coming at you. Sagittarius, that is what you're receiving. You're receiving coins. We have the King of Swords, which is air. It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the King of Pentacles, which could be Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have someone here who has their eye on you. Earth, air, maybe two people here. You have someone here who has their eye on you and they're wanting to make an offer towards you, Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I just see a lot of pentacles in your future, Sagittarius. <laughs> we have the Fool. Alright, look at that. That's because you manifest with this moon. You know how to manifest here. The Three of Cups, you see that? You blended everything together. Now you, you see that? The infinity symbol? We have the Queen of Wands, which is fire, which is going to be your own card here. Alright. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're taking action here, Sagittarius, now. We have the Star, which could be that of Aquarius. All right? But I, this is like, you're taking action towards your hopes, your dreams. You manifested that out in the universe. Now you're taking action. Or you're going to be taking action soon. You have strength. Once again, we have the Moon. Sagittarius and the Dragonfly again, which we've seen that in the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. What's I, I, I see you receiving, Sagittarius, but I see that you've got someone here who's very burdened, and I don't feel like that's you. 
I don't know who this is. But either way, look at that. Coins. <laughs> so many coins coming in so many different directions. Sagittarius, you ain't gonna be able to know what to do with it. Like, it's just gonna be like, boom. Alright. So. Like an like an overflow of coins, like it's just so much. And the six of wands. This is victory. Okay, you are gonna be victorious here. I'm trying to show it, but the light is just like so much in the way. Sagittarius, that's annoying. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a lovers. You could be receiving a love message as well. Maybe from this person here who has an eye on you or, or whatever. You have the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're going to be having everything that you've ever wanted here, Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, where we see the bird holding a picture of, like, a house that looks like it drew. So maybe it's a house that you've been wanting here, Sagittarius. falling out we have the queen of pentacles yeah you're gonna be like the king or the queen of pentacles here sagittarius i feel like you're gonna be financially abundant financially stable okay what is falling out we have the chariot see that with the moon see this is all to do with the moon we also have the sun and the moon so both those influences actually all right just state of balance It has fallen out. Sag. We have <coughs> we have the Hierophant. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. I, I really see. I Sagittarius. Be honest. I see you getting everything you wanted here in life. I see you getting everything you desire. Look at the coins coming in. All right. Now there may be some people that say, you know, it's not just all about money. But hey, look at this. Money pays the bills. <laughs> so, and I feel like you're you're heavily spiritual here with the higher from being there. All right, there's opportunities, there's offers coming in, but you're having. It's so strange because we have the seven of swords, and on the bottom of the deck we have the ten of swords. And we we've seen someone being burdened. I don't feel like this is you because you have that vibe. Like looking at your cards, you have a vibe of being very happy, being very abundant. You're having someone here being overwhelmed by. It feels like guilt. Maybe of them betraying you, or there's something like. Someone's feeling very heavy about this. And I don't feel like it's you. Magician, you see that you manifested here. Manifest, manifest, manifest. All right, your dreams, your desires. Right, the Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands. See, there's that sun. You're connecting with both the sun and the moon. That's a that's a state of balance, Sagittarius. Okay. We have all the elements here. We have the world, we have the rain, we have the sun, we have the moon, we have the earth, we have the paper, we have the bird. We have all, everything coming together. Now we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Five of Swords with the Four of Swords. But like I said, there's someone here that's heavily... I think there's someone here who regrets their actions towards you, Sagittarius. Maybe if it's it's even multiple people here, but they're feeling very heavy about it. I feel like there's a lot of regret 
about the betrayal there, and it's like it keeps getting more heavy on them. Alright. But, look at the coins coming in. Look at the, look at the, and the house you've been desiring. Look at the... See, you're getting the opportunities that you've been desiring here, Sagittarius. So let's get some runes and charms yourself. Let's see what we have here. We have the sun, Sagittarius. All right, so we did see, I've seen the sun somewhere. I don't know where it went, but either way, we have the sun that you're connecting to. All right, the sun is like vitality. The sun is like energy. The sun is like all this positivity, all this vibrancy here. Okay, we have the number nine, Sagittarius. Maybe the number nine has significance to you. Have you been seeing the number nine? We have obsidian, which is a protective stone. Yeah. About to say Hathor, but Hathor is not even here. So we have the rose. All right. So roses can be importance of like offerings and things like that to the spiritual realm. But roses can also be important for the heart chakra. There we have we have sun god Ra, which explains why the sun is here. We have this moth girl, which is connected to moth, is connecting to the moon. Moth is also spiritual initiation, transformation, awakening of psychic gifts and abilities. And then we have that of strength. So, Sagittarius, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. You can see more content. So for you like subscribe. I guess.